ulcerative colitis, what do we need to know? And the whole presentation is about explaining how functional medicine approach will be different from traditional uh, conventional al or allopathic approach. And so what we going to discuss is what is ulcerative colitis? What are the symptoms of ulcerative colitis? Um, how is it different from other inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease? Uh, what are the causes of ulcerative colitis? Uh, the treatment approaches in conventional medicine as well as in functional medicine. And ultimately, I would like to present their, uh, the program that we implement in the office, which is the GI pillars of, um, of the gut healing. So let's jump in. So what is ulcerative colitis? As we know, ulcerative colitis is a type of the inflammatory bowel disease that affects the entire colon uh, through the entire integrity of the colon. And it is autoimmune disease uh, where immune system starts attacking your own tissue, right? So we know about a variety of the mechanisms that can trigger our, our own immune system to start producing antibodies, usually attacking the bacteria or pathogen or microbes of different sort. But there is a um, mimicry between their structure of the bacterium or their fungi or their parasite and their self tissue. So that molecular mimicry where antibodies developed against the foe, against the microbe, has a, the same structure as your own tissue. And that's what sometimes triggers the autoimmunity. So in this case, the, your, our immune system is developing antibody against cells of your own colon. And usually it presents as acute attacks that flares uh, from time to time throughout the lifetime of the individual. And it can last from weeks to months uh, to even years. Or sometimes it never really gets into their um, uh, uh, stable state. So the most common symptoms will include their abdominal cramping, of course, diarrhea, which could be painful with blood or mucus or even pus. And of course, there's a weight loss because these patients have go through this flares where the gut is completely inflamed. There is no absorption of the nutrients through the gut. And that's unfortunately uh, creates their weight loss and nutritional deficiency. So these people usually come with lots of nutritional deficiencies that needs to be addressed for them to heal. So other complications can include also joint pains because there is a mimicry or there's a similarity of the tissue between the gut and the joints could be also present with a skin irritation like eczema another autoimmune disorder but also because these people live in the state of deficiency for months and years and decades osteoporosis is one of the most common complication long-term complication that we see with ulcerative colitis and we're talking about osteoporosis in younger individuals, uh, even before menopause or before the long, their advanced age. So what is the difference between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease, which is another inflammatory bowel disease autoimmune disorder? Both of those are inflammatory condition, as you can see. However, with ulcerative colitis, everything that you see on the side of the screen it's limited to their large intestine or colon, right? So it occupies the entire large intestine. It is continuous. It, it occupies usually the entire colon without really interruptions. And it occupies their more um, inner lining of the gut. Uh, so not penetrating through the intestinal wall, but more superficial and will present with this bleeding and uh, bleeding and continue with the diarrhea, okay? Where on Crohn's disease, it could be anywhere in the gut, uh, in the gut, anywhere from the gums to the to the anus, and it will present with the patches of inflammation. So not continuous, but the patches along the bowels, anywhere along the bowels. 
And the ulcers of the Crohn's disease will penetrate through the entire thickness of the colon wall. So that's the biggest difference. And bleeding is not as common with Crohn's, though it, it is possible. So it turned out to be that just in North America, 750,000 people live with ulcerative colitis. So it is very common. So we're talking about just part of America. So what are the main reasons for ulcerative colitis to happen? Obviously, it's autoimmunity. It's autoimmune disorder. And anything that can trigger autoimmune disorder will trigger uh, ulcerative colitis. Of course, there's a big microbial component to their, this ulcerative colitis. It could be infections uh, or bacterial imbalances in the gut, a very common presentation when people come from their uh, traveling abroad. They had the traveler's diarrhea, they come home and they're inflamed and the gut is inflamed and then they continue to have diarrhea and suddenly they have bleeding and it's not calming down even after certain antibiotics. So then the colonoscopy will show that they have ulcerative colitis. But sometimes we see that ulcerative colitis can be triggered by environmental factors. We all know that we live in the toxic soup. So there is a harmful toxins. There is overuse of medications. There are vaccinations that trigger ulcerative colitis. We see it all in the real life. But also everyday activity, your lifestyle can be a cause of ulcerative colitis. It is, of course, genetic. Uh, it has a strong genetic predisposition, but it might be manifesting because of those poor quality uh, lifestyle, like poor diet, excessive alcohol use, and, uh, and on and on. So other risk factors, of course, genetics, as I said, about 67% of patients with ulcerative colitis will have this positive genetic marker, HLA B27. Other, uh, other uh, risk factors could be overactive immune system due to the food sensitivity. Remember that if we are sensitive to certain food and we like to eat it every day, every time you eat that food creates inflammation in that mucosal level of the gastrointestinal tract, and that continue to trigger uh, antibody production and autoimmunity. But also stressful lifestyle and poor da daily habits just today, I saw a patient who has a history of ulcerative colitis, and her colitis was triggered by stress. She was going through the messy relationship divorce and, and moving out of her apartment, and boom, her ulcerative colitis came out of their uh, complete remission. So in the treatment options, traditionally, you, patients usually prescribe immunosuppressive medication because that's how we deal with autoimmunity. We suppress immune system and whether either with biological or some other medication or even steroids. And sometimes when nothing is working, surgery will be suggested. With functional medicine approach, of course, we are starting with the diet. Diet is the medicine. Food is the medicine. And we don't like to call it diet. We call it food plan, right? Food dietary modification. Um, building resilience, making sure people sleep, making sure they take proper probiotics. Sometimes we use botanicals like curcumin or some antimicrobial herbs. Propolis, the byproduct of the bee production, quercetin, and of course, vitamin D, L-glutamine, amino acids that actually repairs the gut lining, omega-3 fatty acids, and low-dose naltrexone, which is a pharmaceutical, but it's a tiny little dose of their uh, LDN that actually have a great immunomodulating activity. And we learn more and more about LDN. I'm actually going to a conference next weekend. And three days, we're going to talk about just one single new medicine, which is the naltrexone and a low dose of it. But also very important to understand that once people have ulcerative colitis, they need to be on guard for the rest of their lives because we do not cure autoimmunity, but we can very well control it with these preventative strategies like stress management, uh, proper exercise programs, adequate sleep and rest so the body can rejuvenate and repair. And of course, drinking plenty of water. 
So every patient in my practice will receive their um, prescription for those important pillars of health. And then, of course, the 5R functional approach to gastrointestinal issues, where we like to remove anything that doesn't belong to the healthy gut, like parasites or uh, overgrowth of the bacterial or toxins. We replace and restore digestive function by um, compensating with their lack of the stomach acid or lack of, lack of the enzymes or lack of their other nutrients. We reestablish a healthy microbiome with the probiotics, prebiotics, and postbiotics, all those nutritional uh, uh, factors that are so important to cultivate healthy microbiome. Then, of course, we want to repair it and focus on the gut lining and providing nutrients that can repair the gut. And, of course, the rebalance uh, and Pay attention to their gut-brain connection because if we are not, uh, if we're stressed out, if we're not sleeping, that reflects on the gut health. So this rebalancing factor or component is extremely, extremely important. So I briefly want to bring up the question, the, the case from my personal uh, practice of Karen, who is 32-year-old female with a history of ulcerative colitis. So she comes with a several several loose stool a day. She feels very lethargic and tired, especially after eating meals. That's usually a signal that there's a food sensitivity or inflammation that is triggered by meals. She complains of the joint aches and has sensitivities to many, many foods. So she went to her primary care doctor, uh, like many patients do, and she reports that she has a lot of stress from her job and um, and because of that, she's losing her sleep. Here you go. This is the repair factor that is missing in her life right now. She feels generally weak and sluggish. She's nutritionally depleted. She has all this diarrhea, losing a lot of nutrients, not absorbing even the best clean diet. Poor daily diet and most foods do not agree with her stomach. So here again, we suspect this food sensitivity she has diarrhea and bleeding uh, when she's going to the bathroom. So primary care doctor, of course, doing due diligence, what they were taught in medical school, in the residency, does the million-dollar workup, uh, does a lot of testing, imaging, colonoscopy, endoscopy, and she gets the diagnosis of flare of ulcerative colitis. So in prescribed pharmaceutical medications, sulfasalazine, uh, several corticosteroids, rounds of that to control the inflammation and her inflammation is not really controlled by those means. So she actually gets a referral to see a surgeon for possibility to removing her colon to stop this inflammation. And of course, Karen being a smart young 32 year old says, you know what must be some other way to deal with this. So she finds me and looks for with their, with the goal to find the root cause solution. So we do the thorough laboratory workup. We do a stool test. Um, just many of you probably familiar with the GI map stool test that we do. Now we also doing a lot of anti the parasitic tests for the urine and stool with a different lab. Uh, we do the blood work, urinalysis, and also we do food sensitivity for her to see what foods that she eats will trigger the immune response or inflammatory response. And of course, we put her on uh, elimination diet for six weeks. We remove the foods that are she's sensitive to. Uh, we give her some good probiotics, some bot botanicals in form of antimicrobial herbs, propolis, quercetin. We compensate for her vitamin D deficiency. We'll give her some L-glutamine amino acids, omega-3 fatty acid. We give her this Serum-derived bovine immunoglobulins, which is the new kid on the block, great way to quench antibodies, to um, to quench their bacterium and microbes in the gut with the pre-populated uh, uh, antibodies uh, from the bovine blood. And we discussed that in the future, she needs to do the detox uh, because she, she has a lot of exposure to environmental toxic factors. And we make sure she's drinking half of her weight in ounces to compensate for her diarrhea, along with their, um, along with their um, electrolytes. So 
she gets better. She gets better, and now she is working on uh, stress reduction. So we, many of you probably know about the heart math training that we provide to our patients free of charge. Um, all you need is their device that will help you to uh, develop that biofeedback and see your uh, heart rate variability, which is the marker of longevity, the marker of resilience. And it's very, very important for patients with autoimmunity to have that um, that marker and to develop that skill to build the resilience. Sometimes we also use some herbs for to building the resilience, like ashwagandha, rhodiola, adaptogenic herbs. So basically, we're taking our patients through their this GI pillars program, which is includes a very detailed evaluation with the questionnaires and building the entire timeline of their life to understand what are the factors along their life were triggering the autoimmunity flares. For someone, it could be stress. For someone, it could be traveling to Mexico or to other countries where they picked up some parasite and they that fact become um, chronic inflammatory factor. So that needs to be cleared. We do some testing, of course, conventional blood tests, as well as some of the functional medicine testing, either hormonal or uh, stool testing or blood testing. Um, we definitely prescribe some lifestyle interventions with the stress management, dietary intervention, um, and we give patients some homework to do. We focus very heavily on education. We provide some materials for patients to learn about how they can um, improve their lifestyle and therefore control their chronic illnesses and ulcerative colitis being one of them. And of course, we will schedule the follow-up appointments and testing usually within six to eight weeks after the initial visit. And then patients start working with the health coaches. So we do have a two health coaches in the practice that will work with, them, with my patients on a regular basis. And we also offer group coaching group visits now. So um, patients can have uh, group visits every month to address any questions about, about their current supplement plan or uh, difficulties that they might experience due to their uh, lifestyle intervention. And so at this point, I'm inviting everybody who wants to explore their GI health to uh, take this uh, GI health uh, assessment quiz and maybe scheduling the discovery call with my team. Please join our newsletter in its announcement. You can do that through our website that um, uh, Marty will uh, probably post in the chat box. And check out my videos on various topics on the YouTube or on our website, drelenaklamenko.com. Uh, uh, you also can request a guide on elimination diet, which is extremely thorough and great tool to have at your uh, disposal. So you can see the recipes that are great and delicious uh, and help our patients to eliminate uh, dairy, gluten, and other common uh, inflammatory foods. And check out our blog uh, and variety of, on the variety of the GI issues. So, and now we'll open the time for questions and answers. Um, and before we do that, I'll be quickly just mentioning, and you might want to scan this uh, barcode to, if you want to refer a friend of yours, uh, because friends don't want uh, friends to go to the bad doctors. And if you know anyone who has struggles with the gut issues, now you know about our GI Pillars program. And if you are a patient of the practice, you can uh, refer your patients and we would be, we greatly appreciate any referrals you can give us. So you might find uh, um, also a link for the, to refer your friend on the chat box. And also this is the questionnaire for God help if you want to share it with your friends, clients, family, Again, uh, it will be posted on their chat box, or you can just scan uh, scan it with your camera. 
love this new technology when you can just scan the barcode and get on the website right away. And this is their plan. Um, this is their one of the examples of the bundles that I would prescribe for patients when we go through their uh, 4R or 5R program uh, that includes their uh, bovine serum immunoglobulins, some of their antimicrobial herbal preparation uh, in the form of candy uh, candy cycle cycle and uh, zymo uh, zyme, which is the digestive enzymes to improve their digestion and um, nutritional absorption, and some really good powerful probiotics in case you're looking for one. We're happy to share some um, uh, bundles and, and discount codes for these bundles. And you can use them uh, right here. They're mentioned here. And it will be posted on the chat box as well. And also just want to mention that we have uh, several uh, support circles or group health coaching coming up in June and July. They're led by uh, different health coaches. So you can try different styles. And the upcoming dates would be June 20th and July 18th. So feel free to join us and sign up uh, through our website. Remember that fasting is one of the ways to control autoimmunity. And it's a great way to reset your immune system. That's why I really advocate for fasting in any form and shape, and especially for this specific program, Prolon, that I like and use myself and recommend to many of my patients. If you use the code um, that is on the chat box, you'll get the best price which is $148, uh, you, can, you can get it through this um, uh, code that is mentioned on this page. And of course, we use other modalities in our practice, specifically this pulse electromagnetic field therapy, which is very unique and amazing way to boost up the energy, boost up your healing power, boost up their uh, life force uh, in the right direction. Um, it's not just diagnostic tool, but also a treatment tool that you can uh, experience in our practice. So Andermatt is great for a variety of the condition. And then the, if you're a patient of the practice, uh, you can join their support group of their 3X4 genetic testing. Uh, it, we, we provide it every month. There's a mistake on this slide. The cost of the test is $349, and then you can get an access, unlimited access to the group support. So any one of you who is a patient of the practice and did this test, please join us for free for your um, monthly sessions with our expert in genetics, Marina Kucher, who is also a certified functional medicine practitioner. And of course, we don't want to forget about dads. We're celebrating our dad, fathers this weekend. So please use this 50% off for your fathers, your, your husbands, your men in your life, and uh, shop away in, the, in our health store, which is shop.drlenaklamenko.com. Please use this code on the chat box to see if you, to buy something for your man in your life. And this is a big secret, but I'm coming up with my own line of product. Uh, and if you are interested, to pre-order with the 15% off. This is gonna be our neuromagnesium. This is a really great a way to unwind and relax at the end of the day to take this neuromagnesium that penetrates blood-brain barrier. Uh, the Super Omega-3 fatty acids, uh, another Dr. Elena Super Omega-3s, the three times higher absorption than your regular uh, fish oil. And the, the Dr. Elena Hist Digest for people who have a histamine intolerance is another great product to try for people who have this uncontrolled bloating and the, don't know what's going on. Sometimes it could be histamine-related uh, uh, symptoms. So trial of this product might help you a lot. So thank you very much for joining us for this live Q&A. Uh, as an appreciation for you sharing your time with us, feel free to use this code June QA10 to get a 10% off on our health store. Um, and you can, there's some limitations uh, on what you can use this product, this discount for, but feel free to get your monthly 
supplements with this code. And with that, I would like to open the floor to questions and answers. Let me pause the recording. And if you have any questions, please unmute yourself and talk to me. 